Several investigations have now been launched into the death of a six-week-old boy in Nanaimo. As A News first told you last night, the infant's mother is Juliana Frank, whose 19-month-old baby, Sherry Charlie, was beaten to death nine years ago. RCMP tonight are saying little about their investigation into the baby's death Sunday, but an independent review has now been launched by the province's Director of Child Welfare. And the Children's Minister is cautioning against jumping to conclusions. All is quiet at the Frank home today. The family is grieving the loss of six-week-old Joshua and was not willing to speak to the media. But the fallout from the baby's death is just beginning to reverberate in the corridors of power in B.C. Every child has a, a right to live in a, in a circle of support and at the center of a circle of love. And if that little boy wasn't living inside that circle, we have to find out why. Police were called to the Nanaimo home just before 6 o'clock Sunday morning. Paramedics were unable to resuscitate the infant. The baby's mother is Juliana Frank. Nine years ago, her 19-month-old baby, Sherry Charlie, was beaten to death by her aunt's common-law husband. The case and subsequent inquiry resulted in sweeping changes to the province's child protection system. The RCMP's serious crime unit is investigating the most recent death, but the baby's grandfather told A News yesterday that the death was accidental. I don't know what it's called, but the baby, he, he, he had him laying on his stomach and um, he, he actually, I think it's, uh, it's similar to a crib death, they called it. The Minister of Children and Families would not confirm whether the ministry was involved with the family subsequent to Sherry Charlie's death nine years ago. Working um, with the uh, Provincial Director of Child Welfare, he's briefed me on the case and what he is doing is launching an immediate uh, review. The province's representative for children, an independent position set up as a result of the Sherry Charlie inquiry, confirms the family was receiving support from the ministry. The death was reported to me because this was a child known to the ministry for whom the family was receiving some services uh, from the Ministry for Children and Family Development. At this point, it's too early to know if the ministry is considering removing other children living in the home. I'm not at this point advocating for the other children in the family, although it may, may be possible that we do. Um, but in any event, it's important that that investigation be thorough because if there were risk factors to one child, there may be risk factors to other children. So the system has to do its work. MLA for Nanaimo, Leonard Krogh, says the province is failing B.C. children. I think clearly if we're ever going to ensure that tragedies like this don't happen for whatever reason, whether it's purely medical, whether it's because families aren't getting the support, that means more intervention. I mean, are we a caring society or are we not? All investigations into the death of baby Joshua are in the preliminary stages. The official cause of death is yet to be released publicly.